going on guys welcome back into the channel in today's video we're going to be giving you a quick review for college football 25 especially for those of you out there that might be waiting on it to see whether the game's good or not those of you guys that are looking for some evaluation on the game as well as for those of you that are just in the culture of the game and you want to see what people have to say about it i have some opinions in both directions on this game good and bad i think that there is a lot good going on with this game but let's actually dive into it the two primary modes that i am going to focus on in today's video are of course going to be dynasty mode that would be offline dynasty and connected dynasty with other users as well as road to glory mode that's what college football is all about that's what the video game is all about i'm not going to focus at all on ultimate team if you're new to this channel you guys can kind of get used to the fact that i don't talk about ultimate team i don't care about ultimate team i view it as a total waste of time so the fact that it's even in this game in my personal opinion is a massive waste of resources it takes away from the actual football aspects that could have been improved in this game and there are some that are lacking so with that being said, talking about Dynasty Mode and Road to Glory, let's get the ugly out of the way first. Road to Glory Mode is very basic. It is very similar to Madden's career mode in recent years, and there's just not a whole lot to it. They did add some nice things uh, like having to manage your player's GPA, having to manage your wear and tear, having to manage various different aspects of your player. However, they do not work as in-depth as I think they should for a mode like that in 2024 from what is supposed to be a high-end game developer. There just simply should be more involved there, and you can clearly see that resources were allocated elsewhere. Cough, cough, ultimate team. Anyway, there is some room to grow here for this mode. I think that the bones of this mode are very good, especially with the addition of the wear and tear system, especially with the various aspects that are done to manage your player within this mode. However, you have to do a lot in order to manage your player in order to make it a more playable mode. I noticed a lot of issues with your player being subbed off way too often. My backup running back to my starter was getting more carries and more touchdowns than my starter because I would play two plays, three plays, I'd get us all the way down to the red zone, and then I'd get subbed off because of the stamina, the fatigue, and the wear and tear system. So you have to modify those things. I made a video on that. If you want to improve your road to glory experience, check that video out. It's the very last video I posted before this one. It is extremely useful if you want to improve that experience. And then in addition to that, there's just not a whole lot else to do. And I remember back in the day playing NCAA. I remember back in the day playing Madden career mode. There were things to do. You could go different places and you could do different types of events. You don't get any of the high school experience leading up to your road to glory in this one. There are multiple different types of players to choose from, but generally you're just going to want to go with the high-end five-star recruit because otherwise there's not a whole lot going on with the other archetypes. There's not really any added dialogue, events, anything in my opinion that is worthwhile to choose those other options. So I don't see why those options are even in the game to begin with. You can't go and do different things. Unfortunately, there's just not a whole lot involved in the mode. In addition to that, the progression system is a little bit whacked out. I won a bunch of awards. I led the entire college football scene in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. I won a Heisman at one point, and I got like two upgrades the entire season with that running back. The entire system, the bones are there for it to be good, but it needs to be expanded upon, and I'm hoping that they plan to expand upon it throughout the year as opposed to going into next college football video game because the game mode as it stands is not very replayable and a lot of people are going to die off of that game mode very quickly. That's mostly what I have to say about the bad aspects of this game. I will hit on a couple of other points especially as we talk about Dynasty and the actual gameplay itself. As far as Dynasty is concerned it has 
most of the aspects that we would be looking for in a dynasty mode for college football. You have the ability to customize your conferences. Thank goodness they gave us the ability to just completely wash away a conference. So you can take all of the independents and finally put them in another conference. And you don't have to leave a team sitting in the independence conference. That used to be the case in NCAA. So you always had to have an independence conference. Unfortunately, you don't have to do that anymore. The scouting system is really nice. The scouting system is challenging, especially if you're a lower end school. It can be really difficult and take time to build a team up. Now, again, the aspect that I mentioned about progression with Road to Glory mode is exactly the same in my experience so far with Dynasty mode. Progression is not consistent and it is not as fast as it should be. I won a Heisman with my quarterback. I went undefeated with my team and Pittsburgh went up from like an 83 to an 85 in that time. And I realized that you're going to lose some seniors and whatnot, but the amount of XP that you're awarded, the amount of upgrades that you're awarded for doing certain landmark events for achieving certain things just does not simply line up. You should be able to bolster your squad more quickly by having success. And again, I think that also plays into the scouting system. The only time that players care whether you're winning or not is the singular week that they are visiting your school. So your overall success doesn't matter to a player's recruitment, which I think is not the way that it should work. I think your team's overall success should be contributing to your recruitment and it should ebb and flow as the season goes. If you're winning a lot of games, if you're picking up steam, then you should start to see that reflect in the amount of recruiting that you have going on and how much those players are interested in your team. If you have some big time prospects in for your team and you start to lose games, that should affect your ability to bring those prospects in. I think that that's incredibly important and it is overlooked within dynasty mode. I think there are also some aspects that have been overlooked just settings wise, setup wise, and tools that are available to commissioners and those types of things. The ability to edit players is not very good. And I know that they have to skirt around certain rules and whatnot, but I really should be able to go in there and edit player ratings. I should be able to go in there and edit players' appearances and stuff, especially if I'm doing team builder, I should be able to edit players. I've heard that you're not even able to do that. It just seems like things are not necessarily working exactly the way that we would want them to. I also very much have to mention that the lack of uniforms in this game is pretty disappointing. In the team builder side of things, they're allowing you to have five sets of uniforms, which means essentially three alternates, as far as I understand. But most of the teams within this game have a home uniform and an away uniform, and then they just flip their jersey and pants for a quote unquote alternate, a home alternate and away alternate. Most of the classic uniforms, most of the alternate uniforms, the throwback uniforms, the special event uniforms are just simply not in this game. It's incredibly, incredibly disappointing on my end. I think for the amount of time that they took to create this game, more of the uniforms should have been in the game. And again, you could have just not wasted time on Ultimate Team. You could have just not put that in the game and you could have created uniforms for us. Hell, you could have even put them in DLC packs or as an add-on to the base game, and I would have paid for the uniforms before I would pay for Ultimate Team crap. And I think a lot of people would prefer to have the uniforms in the game. So for me, that is a bit of a detractor. I, uh, you know, I wanted to play as Pitt and they only have their current uniforms. They have so many other nice uniforms in history and they're not in the game. Kind of stinks. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So there are a couple of detractors there. However, the dynasty mode as a whole is really solid and it's going to keep us playing for quite a while. Honestly, I might play this through to Madden season and not even pick up Madden. I'm just being honest with you guys because there's way more teams. There's way more replayability with dynasty mode. You can do so many more different things. You can build a team up. You can take a powerhouse. You can take a middle team and do different things with them. You can target transfers. You can be a coordinator. You can try the long road of it. You can try just coming in as an existing coach and 
you there's so many different things that you can do that goes far and beyond and that's just the nature of college football and luckily they hit on it enough with dynasty mode that it's not going to leave you guys disappointed honestly you're going to pick up dynasty mode you're going to play a bunch of dynasties over and over and over again and you're going to keep having fun that's just the truth of it and then as far as the actual gameplay is concerned i find it very entertaining i know there are some mixed reviews as far as the gameplay is concerned but you'll see it on the screen behind me I think it's very enjoyable. The new passing system, the dynamic passing system, is what passing should be like within Madden, within NCA, within football games. It's the ability to place arc on the football and drop it in over top of the head of defenders with a little bit of arc, with a step lead between that receiver and that defensive back, contextually speaking that means a player's ratings will determine whether that's possible or not if a player has good ratings they're gonna be able to drop that ball in where it needs to go and it plays like real football the biggest takeaway for me if i can give this game any credit on anything is that i dropped into games and i'm still dropping into games and i feel like i'm playing college ball that's just as simple as i can put it it is the way that college football should feel. Now, again, are there a couple of things here and there that could be improved? The consistency of that passing system, could that be improved? Absolutely. Are there some glitches here and there? Absolutely. Are there some animations that kind of glitch into each other? Some physics are a tiny bit wonky? Yeah, but I think a lot of that stuff will easily get cleaned up throughout the gameplay, throughout the lifespan of the game. I don't think that stuff is really worth noting too too much i haven't noticed anything so blatant that it's a big time issue i will say for those of you guys that are looking to see whether it's different from madden or not the game as a whole in addition to the game modes the gameplay the menu system everything the way things are set up you can tell the devs from madden worked on this you can tell that they pulled things from madden you can tell that there is some similarities to madden I don't think some people are wrong whenever they're saying this game is Madden, but X percent better. I can't remember what our buddy said the other night. He said like 27% better or something like that. And that's the truth. It feels a little bit like Madden. It's going to look like Madden. I mean, it's football. It's a football video game in 2024. So what else is it going to look like? But it just plays so much better. It's for me, it's, it's Madden, but it's 50% better. It's like what they should do with Madden is sit down, take this amount of time that they took for NCAA or college football and, and rebuild Madden from the ground up. And it's going to look like this or take this game and then just reskin it to be Madden and make certain changes and improvements on it to separate it and make it feel different, make it feel like NFL football and boom, you have a good game. I'm just being honest with you guys. I think that this game is really solid. I really don't think anybody will be disappointed picking this game up. One little tidbit that I needed to throw in here that I forgot to record on the first take of this video. One of my biggest complaints with football games up until this point, and I harp on it all the time, is that receivers do not attack the football the way that they are taught to and the way that they do in real life. A lot of times they are sitting there unaware. They let defenders attack the football, but they don't attack the football. That issue has been addressed in college football. And that is one of the things that stood out to me immediately when I played this game and why it plays so much better because you get receivers playing much more similar to how they should be playing within actual football. They are laying out for footballs. They are using their leverage to go up and attack the football and not allow a defender to have an easy path to the football. They're coming back to the football. They're going up and using their hands without me as the user having to perfectly take over that player and control them and tell them what to do. They, on their own, are coded to play properly. I don't know if somebody over there at EA has watched my videos. I haven't seen a lot of other players in the Madden community or the football video game community specifically harp on receivers attacking the ball. I think that's very much a me thing. I don't know if other people care so much about that, but it is a super huge realism thing, and they have addressed it in a significant way from my gameplay 
play so far with College Football 25. And that is another huge positive for me because that is a huge chunk of the issues that I have with current state of Madden. If you have picked it up already, chances are your expectations were really high and there's a, a chance that you were disappointed because it's not as good as everybody thought it would be. I mean, this is getting like a B-plus grade from me. It's not getting into A territory because they skimped on things like Road to Glory and whatnot. They wasted a ton of time on Ultimate Team. It is what it is, and they missed out on a couple of things in Dynasty, and some of the things within the game, the gameplay, the mechanics of the modes, are not talking to each other and working as well as they could be. However, if you're like me and you tempered your expectations for the game, if you have not gotten the game already, I can almost guarantee you that you will not be disappointed in the game because it is better than tempered expectations. It is not as good as the lofty expectations all the people that have been waiting so long and pre-ordered the game so early are, are putting on the game. It's just in between, you know what I mean? It's not that A potential game, but it's also not a C or a D. It's a solid B plus, you know? So if, if you're looking for a review of the game, if you're looking for a solid game to pick up that has some replayability, this is it for you, trust me. There's a lot to do, a lot of different avenues to have fun. I think you guys should go pick it up if you haven't already. So with that being said, leave a comment down below. Have you gotten the game? Have you not gotten the game? Is there a reason that you pre-ordered or whatever it might be? I know a lot of people bought the pre-order combo with Madden. I think that was a little bit of a scam, if I'm being 100% honest with you, because they're just trying to rope you into getting that game and you paid 10 extra dollars. And most of you aren't ever gonna touch Ultimate Team as it is. So I just bought the base version of the game. In fact, in fact, I actually got the steel book for the game. And, and I think that that's uh, a little bit higher quality and I didn't pay for the early access, and I don't think the early access was really worth it because it was a beta test, and that's what early access is in today's gaming market. So I would influence you guys in the future to not pre-order games like this. Uh, but anyway, leave those comments down in the comment section below. Do you guys have any specific notes on the game? Positive, negative, neutral, anything you'd like to see them add, or any major issues you've experienced? I'd like to hear about it in the comment section. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you have a good one.